trying out the viral Amazon hair extensions compared to cashmere hair. Okay, we had to search high and low for some of the most comparable and high quality extensions to also be at the lowest price. It was quite the challenge to find a good shade match for Rachel and on our hunt, we were pretty disappointed to come across this. Look at this, this brand stole our hair washing photo. These are cashmere hair products. These are cashmere hair extensions and they are using it on their Amazon page. Other than that, we ended up choosing two different colors from two different brands. The extensions have arrived, so let's unbox them together. Right away, you could see the difference in the amount of hair that is on each weft. This is a lighter shade that I got. It comes with two really small one clip wefts, two wider two clip wefts, but these are like almost too wide for the amount of clips you have on it. Then there are two three clip wefts and then one four clip weft. But I feel like even though you get more wefts in this set is less hair in here than there is on the other set. This one I can already tell because of the quality of the hair, it's it's not gonna last very long. It's gonna get tangled, it's gonna get matted. It's really thin, so I can't imagine this is high quality hair at all. There's only two wefts sewn together at the top and they have a lot of clips on them, which can get pretty bulky if you're wearing a lot of tracks together. Although both of these sets have the same type of clips, at least they look the same um, as the cashmere hair clip and extensions, you can just see the low quality with the way they sew them onto the wefts. I can see them above the weft. That would be really awkward and like also kind of hard to conceal. The other set that I got is a little bit better actually quality hair. It feels really smooth right out of the package. There's also only two wefts stitched at the top of these tracks. But one thing I found that was really weird is this one piece track and you only get one of these, but the clip is like right in the middle of the track. So these are gonna stick off. The other tracks in the set are wider. There's a two clip one, um, a three clip one, and a four clip one. So I feel like these are a little bit better, but. I mean, it's still pretty thin. Cashmere hair extensions have five rows of hair. These only have two. I am gonna give these a fair shot. I'm gonna clip them in, style them, see how it goes. So here we have Rachel clipping in the Amazon extensions, and you can just see how long of a process this is because of how many tracks she's putting in for such little payoff. We ended up putting in every track both sets came with, and Honestly, there isn't much of a significant difference in the thickness of her hair. We ended up ordering about the 18 inch length of extensions, which matched Rachel's hair perfectly. We weren't essentially going for length, mostly just trying to add more thickness to her hair. And now looking back, we do think that this was the best way to go because if we did try to add length, the extensions were just so thin that it just would have ended up looking way too stringy and not blend properly. And now Rachel is just styling her hair with some curls to get the extensions to blend a bit better. We lowered the heat setting to about 350 degrees just to be on the safer side and not risk damaging the extensions. And just for kicks, we decided to throw in the tiny side tracks that came with the lighter shade. And as you can see, she curled these pieces twice, once out of her hair and another with her natural hair mixed in. And they just wouldn't hold curl very well. She kind of was thrown off for a minute and was like, wait, didn't I just curl this piece? So we noticed that they just didn't hold curl nearly as well as Remy Human hair would. Now here we have all of the extensions clipped in and you can see the shade match just wasn't quite a match. It came out almost like pink highlight. The darker shade was a much better match, but let's check in with Rachel so she can give us her full final thoughts. I just felt like the track design for each one, especially this one, felt like only half of a set. There were two wider wefts, and then there was a smaller weft, and then there was like a one clip weft, which was just awkward because it had these like pieces hanging off. This set gave you a lot more tracks, but I didn't feel like they really gave you a full set of hair. With both sets of clip and hair extensions clipped in, there was a total of 26 clips that I was wearing on my head. And that was just really uncomfortable to have that many clips clipped around my head. I even had to like overlap them to get them to fit because just having that many tracks and that many clips clipped onto your head made it so uncomfortable that I could not imagine wearing these daily. 
So with this set, I did feel like the quality of the hair was the best out of the two. And then after wearing them for the full day, you can see the quality of the hair. It just did not hold curl well enough as compared to like the cashmere hair extensions. These ones have actually been brushed through several times. I don't think that these are 100% Remy Human Hair, especially this set. And that's gonna really impact the longevity and durability of your hair extensions. They're not gonna last as long as a set of cashmere hair is going to last you, uh, especially with any kind of heat styling. There is so much more beautiful quality hair that you're gonna get on a set of cashmere hair extensions. The clip quality, the way the track design is already laid out for you, the minimal amount of clips that you're gonna be wearing. And cashmere hair extensions for a full set starts at $149. I paid around $80 for both of these sets and there still isn't as much amazing quality hair that you would get as you would get with a set of cashmere hair. So it is a much better bang for your buck to get cashmere hair versus the Amazon clip-in hair extensions.